Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm glad that you're here. Um, if you found this reading, there's probably something in it for you. I'm just clearing the energy and clearing these piles. I hope that you're doing super, super well. I have four piles for you to choose from today. However, you can feel free to choose more than one pile if you are so drawn to it. So I'm excited. Um, I like to do readings that are helpful. Not all the time, but <laughs> I think, yeah, I think that they all end up being helpful for somebody, whether they're like confirmation or like uncovering hidden information, hidden secrets. I have had this like, what are they hiding reading, uploading for like two days. Like it's taking literally so long. So hopefully this one will upload sooner. Um, but yeah, you could check that out if you like. So I... Let me just give a little bit of a backstory and I'll link to the piles if you don't want to hear the backstory as to why I'm doing this reading. But um, this reading is going to be basically how to defeat your enemy, your enemy's biggest fear, um, what are they plotting and how to defeat them. And this is because, hold on, I'm about to yawn. Mm, I think that that's releasing negativity sometimes. Um how to defeat them. So I'm doing this because I did a reading like, I don't know, like many months ago, many moons ago. I, it feels like a year. Um, it could have been a year. I think that my channel recently has uh, graduated to being on YouTube for a year. So yay me. Uh, thank you to my day ones and to my new subscribers alike. So I'll link. Um, I did a reading called your enemy's biggest fear. And it was like pretty, you know, a pretty popular considering it had like, it, it had a lot of views. I mean, I can't remember exactly how many views, but definitely more than a lot of my other readings. It feels like something that's necessary and something that people really wanted and liked. However, that reading did not like go how I wanted it to. All of the piles were like different lengths. Like one was super long, one was super short like pile three cut off at the end, like there could have been like interference, but I'm going to try again and hopefully like the piles will be pretty regular, like consistent and in terms of like time length, but we'll have to see and hopefully nothing will cut off, but I'm going to get the answers for you. I swear. Um, okay. So I'm hearing, I swear to God, I'm not saying I swear to God, but like maybe some of y'all are in that energy. So like with your enemy, you're like, I swear to God, like <laughs> I'm getting the like Simpsons, like got your fist up thing. But yeah, ooh, somebody's leaving your life casket. I love that. Okay, so we're gonna choose your piles, chain of events that will affect your life. Yeah, I mean, this is definitely like, going to be important. So let's choose your piles. For pile number one, we have rum. Okay, it's this like, is it rum extract? It's rum extract. For pile number two, we have this little charm. It's like rosemary and salt. It's cute. Some glitter on it. A little sticker. Little, little star on it. Okay. For pile number three, I almost said two, we have this padlock, hashtag secure. And then for pile number four, we have this chime candle holder. It's, uh, oopsies, <laughs> very mystical and star-like, okay? I feel like two and, because these stars, maybe two and four are connected, who knows? Maybe two and three are connected. But yeah, let's get into your piles and I'll see you there. Peace out. Does anyone else just love iced coffee? Because that's me. Okay, so if you've chosen 444, Pile one started on 444. What's good, pile one? Why am I like, I feel, oh, I'm hearing Jumpin' Jumpin' by Destiny's Child. Jumpin' Jumpin'. 
Oh, I'm hearing something else. Hold on. No, now I'm hearing um, either like a, I think it's a Cray Sean song or, or it's a Lil Debbie song. She's like, jumping, jumping, stands for something. Stands for something. I'm sorry, hold on. I have to find out what this song is because I just immediately got, like, this is a message. I think it, it might be Cray. Bumpin' Bumpin'. It's called Bumpin' Bumpin'. Bumpin' Bumpin' stands for something. Stands for something. Maybe you're bumping heads. I mean, it is your op. Hold on. I'm going to ask the questions, but bump in, bump in. I just got to see the lyrics. I do believe it is Cray Sean. It is absolutely Cray Sean. Okay. Rockin' in the club, catch me on an elephant. Young Cray Sean, grimy, but I feel so elegant. Elegant. Ella elegant. So there's something like grimy, like down in the dirt. I'm seeing, um, this is really interesting. Why am I getting all these channels? I'm seeing, um, if you ever seen that movie on Disney Channel with Hilary Duff, Cadet Kelly, or if you've like ever been in like a military situation, I'm seeing them like, clearly I haven't, but I'm seeing them like, um, you know how the soldiers will like crawl in mud underneath these like wires or strings or something like as training? Yo, you've been like training like hard in the mud. I'm hearing hardened to paint by Waka Flocka. I love my guides. Um, they're hilarious. They like to make it fun for me. Bumpin' bumpin' stands for something. That's what I'm getting, but let me see. It's like you've become refined. Like all of the dirt and grime and mud that you have crawled through, it made you like a really strong soldier. So it's like people could have put you through all of this S-H-I-T, literal S-H-I-T. I've <laughs> just got some of you could have a baby and you'd be changing diapers. But anyway, um, but yeah, even being a parent, like you like, you might have been through some hard, rough times, things that were even grimy, dirty, nasty, stinky, and yet you feel so elegant, elegant, ele elegant. And it's also bumpin' bumpin' is about being in the club. All right, I'm gonna ask these questions about your op, but let me just read the lyrics one more time. Come with me tonight, spinning inside. Take me to the city, our bodies collide. I get high, that groovy sky. 10, 15, mezzanine. Bumpin', 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 it's 10, 15. If you looking for me, I'll let you know where I'll be. You're like, I'll meet you outside. <laughs> meet you three o'clock outside of school. Um... A swag dub chick in the VIP. Don't come around playing. Got the chopper on me. What is that? Is that like a like a G-U-N? <laughs> I don't know the word chop chopper. That sounds like a helicopter though. Isn't a chopper a helicopter? Don't come around playing. Got that chopper on me. You got some kind of protection. These clubs fulfill all my wishes. One big room full of bad bitches. Yes. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It's something. The girl want me. She constantly taunt me. And in my club dreams, she always used to haunt me. Girl, I knew. Girl, boy, everybody, whoever you are. I knew that there were some messages. I'm getting chills too. So it's, it's on point. And also the rum, the drinking, the partying in the club. Like you could have partied in the club with this person. Could have gone to the club. Oh, with this person. People be falling. Okay, that's funny. So, ew. Also with rum, like you know that term, like red rum. Like what does that spell backwards? That's weird. Like it feels like you have... A swagged up chick in the VIP. You could be the swag. Like, you have this, like, aura about you. When I think of swag, I honestly think of Soldier Boy. Like, that's how you're coming off. You could be popular. You could have a lot of friends. Or you're in the VIP. Like, you're the very important person. Or you are, like, protected in some kind of way. 
And then the most important part about this, which refers to your op, is not only, okay, young Krayshawn, grimy, but I feel so elegant. It's giving lotus flower energy, even in the dark, even in the dirt. You are, you've got this grace, this elegance about you. Okay, elegance. Now I'm getting voguing. Okay. Um, some of you could be like gay or queer, but you don't have to be. Take what resonates, leave the rest behind. These are general messages for a group of people. Okay, what's most important here? And then I'm going to start pulling. The girl want me. She constantly taunt me. Somebody wants you. And they, they taunt you and they used to haunt you. You could have been having dreams about this person. Thank you for bearing with me as I channel. I know it might not be as fun as looking at the cards, but the messages are there and important. It takes me a minute to like get the message, but then it like all comes around at the end. So I'm using this Hoodoo Tarot deck. I absolutely love it. It's very special to me. So pay your respects. Um to the ancestors, the highest light and vibration, who always love and protect. Don't play around, don't come around playing, got the chopper on me. So, you have like allies, like these clubs fulfill all my wishes. Like you have like a group or something of allies. It could be a spirit team. It could be like an actual like group of like girlfriends, friends. I feel like a lot of them are women though. Or like there's this like there's this like feminine like a yeah a womanly energy in the masculine energy with the swag basically you have swag and your enemies are mad that you have swag and you have friends and you have protection and the girl want me she constantly taunt me they could have like harassed you or something and in my club dreams she always used to haunt me i've been having dreams um this is also why i started doing this reading because i had a dream of an op that they think that they're sly. I didn't know if I was gonna share this, but it might be relevant to you. They think that they're sly, they think that they're slick, they think that they can infiltrate dreams and um, give you messages or try to like change your mind about something. And my guides always love and protect me, 1222 on the timer and my guides will always make the dream so that I am always seeing exactly what's going on. I see the plots that are happening because the op will come and try and be nice and try to be like, act like they're your friend, they're your lover. You might even be sleeping in bed with this person in your dreams, but I will turn, I will be in that bed with that person in the dream and I will know they are an op and I will play along I will play along and maybe trying to trap me in the dream, but I always, I'm, I'm always five steps ahead of them escaping. Something about your third eye and your, I'm hearing your heart chakra and your crown chakra. That's where you're being, that's where you're being, I'm hearing attacked, that's where you're being attacked. Your third eye, your crown and your, th your throat and your heart. All the upper chakras, I mean, also it could be multiple, but it's 10 15 10 15 could be an important time if you're looking for me i'll let you know where i'll be you could yeah you could be in the public eye in some kind of way or you're just like out and about like on the town like in the club like they don't like to see you there but they want it's a love hate thing that they have for you so let's see let's see what's your enemy plotting what's their deal with you what's their problem for pile one mother of coins in the reverse um you have this like luxurious energy about you look at it just let's look at this card if you can if you're watching and not just listening oh it's beautiful Oh my gosh, there's a snail, there's a turtle on this card. There's a, this is the slow, luxurious life. This person, this woman is laying on a fluffy, fluffy white bed, purified the snail, giving, it's giving Obatala, it's giving peace, it's giving justice, it's giving fabulous, it's giving breakfast in bed. This person doesn't feel like you have to work for your money or have to work for your luxuries or your stability or whatever, like kind of like, um, you got this like royalty energy about you, honestly. 
I'm seeing scar scarab and Egy Egyptian. You could resonate with ancient Egyptian uh, knowledges, okay? This person, look, oh my gosh. I'm sorry, I freak out. I, I feel like I scare people when I start screaming, but you have to get used to me because <laughs> this is how I am. Yo, with the four of knives. Look at these people both sleeping. I told you they were attacking you in your dreams and in your sleep. They're both sleeping. Bruh. Lady. And, oh my gosh. And one's masculine, one's a feminine. Did I not just tell you about my dream where I'll be sleeping next to somebody and I know that they're an op? It's like um similar to... I mean, it could, like, yeah. It's the vibe of, like, a domestic abuse situation. I feel like you might have already, yeah, I feel like you already escaped this person. I feel like this is an ex or it's somebody that you went on dates with or you dealt with. Or this is, like, a secret admirer, but it's, like, creepy admirer. It's, like, they, they like, they, like, want you, but they can't have you. And so then they hate you. And so then they want to, like, ruin you or whatever. With this four of knives in the reverse, I keep thinking four of wands, which is the breaking of a commitment. But the four of swords in the reverse is like getting up from sleep. You could be have you could have been like waking up or having sleep problems, issues. I'm hearing sleep apnea, not a doctor, just reading the energy of the cards and getting intuitive messages from what my guides tell me. And I'm gonna move on, but there's still something else here. Look at this lavender. This is basically like peace energy. They want you to not be at peace. They want you to not be stable. They want you to not have money come to you so easily. Have luxury, have peace come to you so easily. Because even with all the grimy, look, they're laying in dirt. I feel like this is them. But I also feel like it's you. But okay, listen. With all, remember the grimy? Even in all the grime, you're literally living in luxury and elegance. They don't like it. They don't like it. Hmm. What's your enemy plotting? 1717, something about your luck. That was two cards. Pa. This is the moon card. The moon card's different in the hoodoo tarot, and I haven't used it in a while, so let me just check it out for you, okay? The paw card. This could be an um, older man, an older masculine figure, a father figure. Uh child's father a father of you okay here mm -hmm. it's of a grandfather and a grandson and then the father of coins was in the reverse you could have like family connections that might help you to be in that stable luxurious energy uh, okay are you ready when pa appears in a reading you are being asked to consider that you might not know everything there is to know about the situation at hand. Not only that, but the details are possibly being purposefully hidden from you. Most likely there is no concrete proof that you're being deceived, but you undoubtedly sense something is wrong. Yeah, so that's like the dream energy. Like when you just know something is going on from your intuition, from your connections with your guides, no matter how strong or, or like not as as stable or strong or connected you feel, you are getting this feeling in your body, these vibrations, these intuitive messages, these chills. That's like, something is going on here. Something is going on here. Okay, let me read the rest of it. Pa may also be trying to tell you that sometimes you must seek truths that have been intentionally veiled or obscured by darkness to protect them. So maybe even to protect your family, like, You've been having to like uncover or figure out what the heck is going on. Maybe like you've been watching like readings like this to figure out what's going on. I'm getting chills again. Everyone knows the most valuable and precious items are kept out of reach from casual browsers or lazy thieves who don't want to do the work to attain them for themselves. Exactly. You look, you are this luxurious elegance el energy, right? I don't know why I keep saying elegance, but it's just it's giving elegance, right? They think that everything comes too easily to you. However, they don't know what you did to get in your luxurious energy. And also this is your energy. Like even, let's say even if you don't have like money coming in, like all that, one, they probably think that you do. And two, 
like they're delusional it's giving like with the moon card like they're not thinking straight there's things that they don't know about your situation and so they 20 on the clock that's judgment i believe correct me if i'm wrong I, they're casting judgment upon you and i'm hearing that that they are casting judgment upon you as a it's kind of like um an alternative to casting judgment upon themselves but in that process they end up judging themselves anyway because let me say this you are a reflection every everybody like the way that we walk in the world everyone else all of the situations in our life the ops the haters all that stuff they are a reflection of us and our problems and what we need to, insecurities and what we need to heal so you being in your luxurious life whatever that means to you or however they're perceiving that they're like trying to hide things um hide their intentions i have two more cards that came out too um what else yeah there we go lazy thieves who don't want to do the work to attain for themselves exactly they don't want to do the work to attain for themselves so they even with the lazy thieves they could like want to steal from you or they want to like they want to take either take away or take for themselves okay and remember i was saying you're protected right Ooh. Let me read the rest of the paw. This is why our money, jewels, and other precious things are kept in boxes, vaults, and secure, inconspicuous locations where they will be safe. So it is with certain knowledge as well. Another meaning of paw could be highlighting the necessity to get treatment for anxieties and depression or to face your fears, seek clarity. Yo, didn't I say delusions? This says you might be being deceived by someone. You are in danger of delusional thinking. You know you have some inner demons. Are you ready to face them? This person has inner demons. Whatever or whoever is getting on your nerves has to go. It's affecting your health. Don't ignore that bad feeling or you'll be sorry. I'm telling you, I was like, let's let's keep moving on. Like I kind of want to like move the reading along, but 22, 22 on the clock, these are important. Try not to be such a wimp. Oh my gosh. A smile is a frown turned upside down. This is the dark side of the force. You're as phony as a $3 bill. Stop it. Self-deception is ultimately self-destruction. Maybe you're deceiving yourself about something or maybe you're deceiving yourself about like the true like character of this op, which is like messy. Like it's giving like, um, like you drank too much. What's the meaning of that dream you had? Bro, the fact that I told you about my dream. Try to understand the perspective of the weirder eccentric person who's come into your life. After you clear your head, you'll be able to find your way again. Think of ways to express your creativity. There's healing in that. Pay attention to signs, visions, and warnings. Yeah. So you know there's some deception going on. What's the deception about? We have daughter of baskets in the reverse and we have father of baskets in the reverse. Baskets is water, it's emotions. They could have been trying to affect your emotions. I believe is the daughter of baskets the knight of cups in the reverse. They could be trying to like, I'm hearing take your love away, steal your love away, but it feels like steal your love for themselves. Like it's very weird. So let's just check this out and I'm going to, I'm going to pull on other decks, okay, to get more specific information. But what are they plotting? Let's see the Daughter of Baskets. I just saw the Hermit. They're very, like, hidden. Like, they're trying to hide themselves, like, definitely. Okay, y'all. Hold on, they're in like different sections. It's in the family. I feel like this could have to do with family for some of you. Yeah, the family, the court cards are the family. So let's see, the daughter of baskets. Ooh, plant. The There's plants associated. So it says that the daughter of baskets is Baneberry. I don't know what, that, what the associations with that are, 
but it's giving baneful magic to me, but baneful bad intentions overall. Ooh. People are trying to, okay, I see. This is witchcraft involved. I was going to be like, it's not witchcraft. No, I'm always right. Let me read this to you, okay? Daughter of Baskets. Tituba was an enslaved teenager who was accused of being a witch in Salem, Massachusetts. 2525 on the clock. Uh, Anne is depicted here as the daughter of Baskets. She was of Arawak heritage, which automatically made her a suspicious character among the Puritans. There could be racism involved here. The daughter of Baskets carries a basket or like um, religious opposition. The daughter of Baskets carries a basket full of bane berries and a pot of tea. Salem Harbor is in the background. The daughter of Baskets is generally the bearer of good news. Remember, you're, the, you're so elegant, elegant, ele elegant. On the positive side, she is charming, imaginative, creative, loyal, and has great communication skills. Okay, before I read the negative side, what I'm getting is that like, your enemy is plotting on or trying to basically like, ru I'm just gonna say like ruin your reputation or like, um, like the Puritans, like this pure, like they're trying to act like they're a pure energy, right? But they're actually like, um, they're takers, they're colonizers, they want to subsume, to eat, to consume you and persecute you because of your magic. So also your enemy's biggest fear, because that's also finally getting here, is your magic, your magical ability. And also um, it's basically your charm, your imagination, your creativity, your ability to create and loyal is coming up a lot, which is telling me that, and your communication skills, it's your relationships with other people that are so, yeah, pleasant. Remember the Krayshawn song that, She's got all of her bad bees in the club with her in the VIP. And she's protected. So they're trying to decrease, I guess, the protection that you have or rather like make people suspicious of you. Okay, so then it says on the negative side, oh, they could also be trying to affect your communication with other people. And like if you have like a fan base or like fans or supporters, they're trying to or they're wishing or hoping to decrease that like ability to communicate with them or like for them to like you or whatever. So on the negative side, she is delusional. Delusional keeps coming up. Jealous, a pathological liar, a con artist, or suppresses her feelings. In a reading, if she doesn't represent a literal person with these qualities, then she represents these attributes. So I believe that those attributes are your person. They are delusional, jealous, a pathological liar, a con artist, and they don't show their true feelings. They hide them. Excuse the noise in the background. I just saw 2808 on the timer. When I say these numbers, they could be like dates of birth um, or they could be relevant to you in like any kind of way. I keep saying eight. It's like they want to infiltrate your peace um, and they want to portray you as how they are. It's like they almost want to switch energies with you. Like they want you them to be seen as charming, creative, loyal, and they want you to be seen as delusional, jealous, a liar, a con artist, but it's actually the other way around. So awkward. Okay. Father of baskets. Like, excuse with the noise. Ooh, plant violet. Purple is like royalty and protection. I keep getting this royal energy for you. Is it in the reverse? I think it was. Okay, whatever. It says, Father of Baskets represents the archetype of the nurturing father and provider. On the positive side, he is kind, generous, diplomatic. There's that communication, working well with others energy, maybe in your job or something. It's tolerant. Or I feel like um, you could be like a community leader or have like an important like role in the community or like you help people or people look up to you in some kind of way, okay? On the positive side, he is kind, generous, diplomatic, tolerant, reliable, resourceful, honest, and wise. 
On the negative side, he is emotionally manipulative, moody, self-destructive, and deceptive. Okay. Hmm. This person's trying to make it seem like you are emotionally unstable. I'm like, to whom? Why? Where? Do not step down. Do not back down from opposition. So why? Because you don't um, give in to them. You don't give in to them. You, they oppose you and you're like, so what? Or you fight against them. So that's what they're plotting. How do you defeat them? Yo, throne, position of authority, and it fell right on you, the mother of coins. You are, like, literally, like, that's the queen energy. Like, you are a queen. You are ro royalty energy. You could be in a position of authority, or you might have to seek or collaborate with a position of authority to get them to, like, leave you alone, I'm hearing. How do you, how does pile one defeat their enemy? Oh, my gosh. Wreath, sorrow over a loss. And that's Daughter of Baskets. What is that? Broke, exactly. Broken ring, parting of the ways either in romance or business. You need to let go of this person. And you need to let them be sad about it and not care. Or maybe you need to be sad about it and not care. But you got to get rid of this person. You got to break the business. You got to part the ways. You got to needle and thread. Sincere wish will be granted. I just heard, you gotta be cool, you gotta be strong, you gotta be wiser. I think it's by someone named, like, is it Desiree? The, you gotta be strong, you gotta, you gotta just, like, stand up to this person with the bull energy. You could be a Taurus, you don't have to be. How does pile one defeat their enemy? Pleasure with a close friend. You need to continue to be close with your friends or like the people who are good to you like don't isolate from them there's something about maybe you have a authority figure as a close friend but you don't have to and then we have pin new job or career so if this person is like at your job or something then you need to get away from them what's new job or career because there's something else there eagle triumph over trouble and obstacles like if this person is trying to like get in the way of your ability is to have new to have new job career a new beginning you literally just need to rise above like that's what they're telling me we also have broom new home new attitude you might need to clean or cleanse yourself spiritually and or your home especially i'm seeing moo like a cow i don't know what that is um cows i guess a lot of times they're black and white it's like transmuting the negativity into positivity and then we have dolphin, financial gain, usually coming from something in the past. Oh, I'm hearing like protect your assets. Like administratively, whatever that means to you. Okay. Persevere and you will overcome problems. They're just like, don't give up. Don't give up. How does pile one defeat their enemy? new opportunities they're just like start start new start new that doesn't mean like start all over but for some of you you might move cross country or something like that oh my god hold on i fell on the floor fear sorrow intense situations there's this sorrow again I feel like you might have to go through a tense situation to release this person for some reason. Excuse me, okay. Last cards. Beware, excuse me, oh my gosh. Beware of great pride. Be humble. And then we have indecisiveness, allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. So that's kind of like, I'm, I'm hearing like, don't allow your life to ramble aimlessly. Like, if this person wants to throw you off so be strategic be planning write your lists like i know it sounds more simple okay and then we have clouds temporary situation however it was in the reverse so i feel like the more that you like you need to take charge of your own life and focus on that 
it's like more like persevering and doing what you do regardless of what this person believes or thinks or tries to do. Because if you don't, if you just allow your life to ramble aimlessly, then it's going to be not a temporary situation. Like the issues are going to be clouding your your sunlight, your your purpose that you move forward towards. Do you understand? Hold on. I'm just going to pull this love oracle deck. It did not divine intervention. I feel like the divine is going to take care of this, but you need to not give up. How does pile one defeat their enemies that are trying to like bad mouth them? It's basically slander. It's slander. How do they defeat their enemies? How do they respond to these enemies? Oh my gosh. Parties, celebrations, social gathering. They're trying to isolate you from your like friend group or your support, which is like what the Cray Sean song now it makes it makes a lot of sense now. Um you need to not do that. You need to enjoy yourself and you need to connect with your people. Pleasure with a close friend. You need to connect with your people. Public. I'm seeing public speaking again. Unexpected in the reverse. Like keep a regular contact with your people that you care about. You might even want to write down who they are and like even make like a kind of schedule to stay in good contact with them, to be in good relations. How does pile one defeat their enemy? Last card. relationship it's all about your connecting and building relationships with others yeah that's all they have to say surrender in the reverse don't give up don't let go don't, i mean let go of this person don't let go of your dreams of your life because this like situation might be like you might be feeling like victimized and like oh like i'm so sad like these people like they're always coming against me like i don't deserve this and you're right you're right. You don't deserve this. You don't deserve this, pile one. But you have to keep going regardless. That's what they said. They said, don't give up. Like, I wish I could give you something juicier, but don't give up, pile one. That was a long reading. That was a long reading. I don't think the other ones are going to be as long as yours. Definitely not. But uh, yeah, please hit that like button for me. It means so much. Helps people get to the channel more. Thank you for viewing. Thank you for liking. Thank you for your subscribes. If you would like to tip, my information is in the description box below or wherever it is on your screen. Um, you are also appreciated. Yeah, I'll see you in the next pile or the next reading. Peace out, bye. I think it's funny how I say bye so quickly. I'm like, okay, bye. But I think that I do it because I personally gain some sort of entertainment from it do y'all like laugh with me do y'all like talk to the screen because i'll talk to the screen when i'm when i'm watching tarot i'll be like mm-hmm that's exactly what they did <laughs> okay coffee coffee break And a green straw today. Money, 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 money. Okay. Hi, pile two. Welcome to your reading. Whew. Pile one was like a lot. Yours is probably not going to be as much, but we'll see. A little shaker jar. So rosemary and salt for protection. Yeah, we got the star. You got the glitter. I'm not getting much from this right now, so I'm going to just start pulling. I had like so many channel messages for um, pile one, but it is what it is. So my beautiful guides, pile two has an enemy. That's why they're here, right? They have an enemy. Um, we're going to see what they're plotting and then how you defeat them and what they're afraid of. Oh, I didn't really get that in pile one, but it is what it is. I kind of did. It was too long. Like, if y'all are interested in personal readings, I'm going to start doing that soon. But, you know, I got to get stuff set up. and But I am interested in connecting with y'all on a more personal level. Oh, my gosh. Why is this so hard? Like, it's like something's hidden or there's an opposition. Obviously, there's an opposition and something hidden. 
Duh. Okay. What's your end? Oh, bop, bop, bop. What is this? The grandchildren. Your legacy is your enemy's biggest fear. Your legacy, what you're going to create, what you've grown, and what you are going to continue to grow. The seeds that you've planted have blossomed into a flower, and they see a garden ahead of you. The garden hasn't been curated yet, but it's on its way. That's what I'm getting. Okay. We got two cards. Ooh, four of knives came out in pile one. You might resonate with that. Don't have to. Eight of sticks. Okay. I'll have to look at this card more. It's quite dark. Looks like somebody, I'm going to read the book, but somebody is like standing at like a spiritual tree and giving some sort of offerings for some type of communication or for something to happen quickly, happen fast. And then we have the four of knives. This is a resting period. And it's also like they've got their tools, they've got their knives, they've got their defenses, but they're not like outright. Like if this is your enemy, it's almost like they're sleeping on something or like they're sleep. It's weird. It's like they're sleeping on attacking you or something like that. I don't know. But this could also be you just like relaxing, but you still like you're not like on the defense, but like you are, like you have the tools in case you need to defend yourself. So what is your enemy plotting? Let me read the book. Let's see, Eight of Sticks. Oh, I'm hearing. Dun, 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 dun. What is that song? I I think it's from Kill Bill. Oh, we got on the Four of Knives. Okay, I know exactly what this is. Well, not yet, but I kind of, we're getting there. So Four of Knives, these, this book comes with like different roots that resonate with the piles. This is Licorice Root. Licorice Root is about domination and it's about um, bending people over, getting someone to bend to your will to do something that you want to do. It could also sweeten. Yeah sweeten people to you. All right, let's read this. The young man, a young man, decides to take a break from the hunt to rest for a moment. It's like you're getting geared up or it's like they're, they might, your enemy, because this is how they're plotting against you. Okay, your enemy might be, while you are in a period of rest, like gearing up to go against you and or like gearing up to get you while, yeah, while you're in a period of rest and or you are like, let me rest and before this big battle because Four of Swords is always after a battle. It's resting after a battle and preparing for another one, the Five of Swords. So they could see the Five of Swords ahead of you. So they're, they are currently plotting by, they're taking a rest. Maybe they tired themselves out. <laughs> Or maybe you're taking a rest. If you're in like a war of some sort, like, I don't know, spiritual war, there's like a rest period. There's like a um, an intermission, like in a play. All right. He knows that the probability of success is increased by doing so. So also like when you lay in the in the grass and outside, you're like gaining energy from the earth, right? The horseshoe he wears around his neck for luck helps too. So I kind of feel like this is you, but I think it's both of you. But, but let's just say for right now, that's you resting up. This eight of sticks is like, it could it could have to do with magic. Yes, it could very much so. Giving offerings to some deities or something or the or the, na the nature, <laughs> the land. But um, the eight of sticks, the eight of wands is about communication, fast, coming in, travel. So somebody, they might be getting ready. They might be fixing to travel to you okay so let's continue positively the four of, of knives is a well-deserved rest introversion and i just said intermission so introversion prayer recentering relief from stress finding sanctuary contemplation solitude peace and quiet recovery you've already been through some sh with this person quiet preparation yeah keeping it quiet and before i got into this reading i was telling I, my guides were telling me to keep certain secrets, to keep certain things quiet, because that's where your 
a lot of your power lies don't they're telling part of how to defeat your enemy is to don't let them know about everything that you know yeah it feels like they don't there's a, there's like similar to pile one for a moment there's a disconnect like they 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 don't they don't know the truth about you or who you are or what you're capable of or what you know all right um quiet preparation meditation and getting a grip <laughs> they're like i gotta i gotta gear up because this person <laughs> i don't even know all right negative exhaustion detention feeling burned out enforced isolation stagnation restlessness and refusal to slow down i'm getting that your enemy could be like manic they could have like a manic energy and it gets them exhausted, like it burns them out into these like, I don't know why I'm hearing piles, but they're, the weird metaphor that they're giving me is like a pile of, of laundry, like a pile of like dirty laundry or even your clean laundry, but you just can't fold it. Like it's just in a pile and you're like sleeping on the bed with the pile of laundry and that kind of stuff. So it's like they rile themselves up and then they get like... And what I'm getting, because this is what they're plotting on you, they're trying to explain to me right now, or they're trying to have me explain to you that they're not, hmm, they could be actively plotting right now. It's more like they're in thinking mode about it right now. They're like, haven't taken action yet. And they also want you to be in a, either a restless energy, or I'm getting like a very like um, sluggish energy, like, like energy drain kind of energy. I'm not getting the drain from the cards, but I did get that from my intuition. I'm seeing emotional trauma, heartbreak, betrayal, rejection on the three of knives. Because, yeah. I feel like you just, like, backed away from this person and they were heard about it or something. Okay, let's see what the eight of sticks is. Let's see what the, the book says. Because I was getting that it was communication, but I'm sure there's more. And I'm getting chilled, so this should be important. And again, I'm like, wait, what am I looking for? Uh, I feel like they even like, like they confuse themselves. They're like, what am I trying to do? <laughs> Literally, that's why they're in this energy. Listen, they're like, what am I like? Wait, I need to like regroup and figure out how to go after this person. That's what it is. Girl, can we please get the eight of sticks in here? Thank you. I passed it. Ooh. How did I know that this was magic? I mean, it is a hoodoo deck, but it's magic. Um, could just be like energy manipulation for those of you who don't resonate with the magic thing. But I honestly need to tell you that happens a lot more than you think. All right. A hoodoo woman. First of all, the plant is poplar. That seem, I don't know what that is, but it seems like popular. And now I'm hearing that, I don't know, it's from some play from my theater friends. They're like, popular, I want to be popular. I feel like it's from Wicked, but it doesn't have to be. Some of y'all could be like performers or like draw, like you like drama, like, like theater drama. But I don't know, maybe you actually like drama, but I don't know. So poplar this might you might resonate with pile one if you feel like this person might be yes this is a similar message to pile one in a completely different way they might be trying to impact your communication your popularity your likability like the way that other people like like you okay so let me read it a hoodoo woman is peeling wood from a tree just struck by lightning it is believed that lightning struck wood amplifies the potency of any working. What is the card in the tarot that's struck by lightning? The tower card. This person wants to create upheavals, towers in your life. They don't want you to they don't want you to be in the know about it. And they do want it to be very powerful. Okay? So let's see. Positive. 
rapid progress, forward movement, communication, finding a resolution, excitement, whirlwind romances, gaining momentum. They could be trying to do some sort of like romance or love work, receiving a critical message, eye-opening experiences, being in alignment. In pile one, I was getting stuff about, and these, these energies carry over too. And I feel like a lot of you are going to be watching multiple. Um, the eye opening, I was getting in pile one that they were trying to attack like the, the thoughts, the mind, the heart, the throat, like the upper chakras through uh, dream state. And this is like in a rest state, right? Um, eye opening experiences, being in alignment, ending of delays, travel by air and successful journeys. I feel like they want to end a delay with you. I feel like they want to make it seem like you guys are in alignment. If you're not resonating with this and they're like a, like if you're like, they can't do that. Like they, they still want to move forward towards you and they want to communicate with you about something or they want to gain momentum or like gain the upper hand in the like fight against you. All right, let me read the negative side. A serious emergency, wasted energy, being too pushy. This person could have been very clingy and pushy. 50, 55 on the clock. Yeah, this could be like somebody that you've let go of. Um, reckless behavior. It's giving knight of wands. Transportation faltering. They could have like transportation issues or travel issues. Leaping before looking. Unexpected breakups, extreme frustration, high pressure situation, hasty decisions, ideas that are way out there, hysteria, failure to recognize signs and warnings. This is literally, they're like not in the know, like they don't know what's going on with you. They might even with the eight of sticks, they might even be trying to get some sort of like divination on you. Because I feel like they can't directly communicate to you right now is what I'm hearing strangely and getting chills again so I don't let me ask the love deck what they're this can resonate like beyond love oh my gosh proposal came out I was gonna ask what they're plotting and proposal came out but it's in the reverse it's almost like they're trying to give you an offer of love but it's shady or they're trying to come towards you and give you a proposal. Oh, let's, didn't this card say like trying to make amends or or fix some, have agreements or be in alignment or fix some sort of issue or delay? They might, and they get one over on you. They're trying to win the fight by making you sweet to them. And this was the licorice root. Bend over to me, be sweet to me, listen to me. Oh, I love you. Oh, we're friends. I want to be friends. I don't want to lose our friendship. Sweaties. Everyone. This is a false proposal. Love offer, engagement, agreement, wish come true. It's their wish come true for... This is like for your wishes to not come true. It's very strange. So there's like a shady love offer. Ew. And they're like plotting on how to communicate this to you. How am I going to get pile two to agree to this? even though they, they, I feel like you know that they're an op. But there's also like, you might not fully have registered this. Like for some of you, this is like a friend or it's like someone that you dealt with and you were just like, oh, they were like, not great, but like, they're not evil. No, this person actually is like, has bad intentions for you. Like is literally plotting bad intentions for you. They could also be trying to prevent a proposal or prevent you and a partner or you and a friend or you and a business opportunity from like being in agreement or being in alignment with one another. Ew. Wedding, marriage, forever the one. It could be like a literal and date came out again. Yeah, they want you to like deal with them. Why? What's their plan? make you magnetically attracted to them. It's giving energy harvesting, alluring, lust, irresistible flirting. They could also want like lustful things from you. Why do they single? I so said, why do they want this? Cause they're, cause they're, I don't know. You're also guarded, I feel. And they want to release your, put your guard down. Why is magnetic attraction here for what they want to do? Thank you. They want to, they want to, they're, they could be an ex-lover. 
They could want to make a love of yours, an ex. Um, they want to get over or heal some sort of heartbreak with you. Memories, they want you to remember the past, be nostalgic. Mm-hmm. They're trying to sweeten you up, pile two, and it's bad. I feel like you've already healed from this heartbreak for the most part, but I also feel like it could have been, like, really bad. So, like, it takes, like, even years to heal. You might have even, like, not been dating or not been seeing people for a long time because of this person or this situation. It was just too straight, 5505, it was just too straightforward of a bad thing and you had to, like, make a change like with this road i'm seeing you go you're down the road with the person and then you go skirt and you go down the other road like you escape them in some kind of way this is an interesting this date in the reverse a weird yeah they want like a reconciliation but why are they an op like what i don't understand like what like what is their purpose for doing this what is their purpose for like getting you back like what is the negativity Good lady. You also like, I feel like you might have some sort of prestige about you or you have this like royal energy. I kind of got that in pile one too. Older female counselor, mother, they want you to mother them. They want you to take care of them. Strong, well-educated advisor, executive guide, teacher. Mm. All right. Living room. They could want to like get in your home. What are they, what is their oppositional energy about? Court official. You could have had a divorce. Lawyer, judge, mediator. You could be in court. Counselor. Counselor again. Like they want some sort of counseling or consolement from you. That is weird. Can you clarify, my guides, what the heck court official and good lady are for what they want from you? They just want you to bend over, it seems. Main male, sorrow. Okay. They're just, they're, they're sad about not being the main male in your life. They want attention, but it's probably going to cause you sorrow. And it also is probably going to take your energy. Because you're showing up as the good lady, I feel. I also think that they want to be seen as good. Like, you have some sort of status. Confirmation, I just heard something. He could be unemployed, or they could be unemployed. Anxiety, weeping, grieving. This is giving the... I just did a... I almost said personal. It might have felt personal for you. I just did a collective reading that was like, this man is in sorrow for what he did. So this man or this person wronged you or cheated on you and still wants to come back. Sad news. Like this person's in sorrow. They could have had to, like, maybe you filed divorce papers or some sort of restraining order or something. But I just feel like they're feeling like set back and depressed because they don't have you and so they want you. Let me just get one more. Why do they like... What is the object, like the overall objective for them? And then we'll get into how to defeat them. What's the object? Illness, to avoid illness. This is also giving karma. I'm hearing like, don't take it so literally, but like karma swapping. Like they want to like be in your good lady, good graces. So that they can heal from this illness. I'm hearing that, that I'm hearing that occurred i'm hearing that they could have heard some set rich lady again you could have money and also rich lady says is health beauty marriage here we go good gentleman in the reverse exactly pile two i know what this is they are not a good gentleman and they expect you okay without being worthy with this courtship in the reverse without taking the steps and being a false person, okay? Guess what they expect you to do? Hey, if I connect with pile two, this sad news is gonna, my depression's gonna lift, this sad, like, they could have had, they could have some sort of illness. They could have a mental illness, but I'm getting like even physical. 
wealth, ease, youth, health, beauty, charm, lavish lifestyle, luxury, fun, good life, privilege. You're living the good life according to them. You got privilege according to them. You could even, your healthy ways, your beauty, your money, your status, whatever, they believe, they aim for it to rub off unto them. And what happens when you rub your goodness unto them? They rub their illness unto you. So let's see this illness in the reverse. And there's this like, there's mad stuff about like, um, and usually I say mad to represent like a lot, okay? Um, but this one, I actually am hearing mad. Like they're mad about like, there's like papers, documents that are being read. They're like, they're like mad about it. They feel sick. I heard they feel sick to their stomach. Bed rest, medical treatment, medication. It's like they want you to take care of them. They want you to like be their mommy. Depression, exhaustion, checkup, poor health. Your health and they're in poor health. So that's interesting and strange. <sighs> this is a lot. Let me take a sip of my coffee and then I'm gonna figure out how you're gonna defeat this person. Interesting op to have. Okay. How is pile two going to defeat this person? Also, not this being a two hour reading, but dark man. This could be a man or maybe you need to team up with a man with dark complexion or hair. Who is this man? Wall, misunderstanding. I feel like the man could be the person you're dealing with. They could be misunderstood or confused or something. Are you kidding? Pineapple, reconciliation. It's like they misunderstand that they think that there could be a reconciliation. Maybe you need to like either create some confusion or you need to like, um, I'm hearing that vine that's like, I am confusion. Okay, I had to say that. Um, oh, I'm seeing a black and white pigeon. I love them. They're so gorgeous. Like, you need to make it black and white. Like, you need to make it, like, right. You either need to confuse them, but, or in order to make something very clear, like, you need to make your boundaries very clear. Wall. There we go. Thank you, spirits. There's a wall that's been put up, but they don't understand that this wall has been put up. They still believe in the possibility of a reconciliation. That's wild. So what is pile two supposed to do to defeat them? Ha! <laughs> we have heart in the reverse. Love, deep affection, and caring. I don't know. Maybe you can approach this situation with love, but it's really giving make it clear to them that this love situ reconciliation situation is it's not going to happen. It's just not going to happen. How else do they defeat their enemy? Door opportunities are waiting for you. I feel like this person closed door. Like, oh, you need to close the door to them. They could have also closed doors for you, younger woman. Maybe you met them when you were younger. You don't have to be a woman, but... Harp, great happiness, like it was not in harmony. Pale, time to get out of a situation. I feel like you've been trying to get out of this situation or this is like a person that you need to tell like multiple times to like get lost. Huh. This person feels a lack in their life. And so they're searching to, for you for comfort, for fulfillment, to feel like they got a full belly because they don't feel like they have a full belly when they're not with you. Time to go out and have fun. That's cute. This is like hang out with your friends. Like start like, don't be so stressed about this situation. Like, I mean, I know it's easier said than done. Also, I am getting that some of you could have been like, assaulted by this person like physically mentally sexually and if so i'm so sorry and i hope you get your you will get your justice okay not i hope you will get justice but um that's just an affirmation from me pile one was i is resonating it's got similar themes and pile one like it was like how do you defeat your enemy like you need to like keep 
in good communication with your allies, with your friends. I'm getting that for you. How else can pile two defeat their enemies? Why did I say enemies? Maybe you're going to watch more than one pile. Ew. I think one flipped. Yep. Ooh. They need to move on. You can't have a new beginning with them. So we do have divine intervention, serendipity, catalyst, supernatural karma. Uh, I heard things are going to go as planned, and that means that they're, yeah, it's karma. They're going to experience karma. Okay, we have mask, hidden motive, conceal, disguise, lying, romantic feelings, falling in love, affection, happiness, emotions. They're basically going to get their, I feel like they were dishonest in this relationship or they could have worn a mask or something, or they are trying to come to you with a mask. Like that's what they're trying to do. You're going to see past this. Um, if somebody comes towards you that is trying to express their romantic feelings for you, I mean, I would question it. I would look at what we have, toxic relationship. And I think it was in the reverse. So I think they're trying to convince you that it's not a toxic relationship and you need to understand that it is. Um, fighting codependent misunderstanding and trigger. They're like, no, like I'm, I'm healed now. Like I'm not triggered anymore like uh they're trying to like pull the wool over your eyes with the romantic feelings with the mask they could even be like we're soulmates we're meant to be this is divine like no this is not it's karmic okay um it's giving stand up for yourself we do have surrender letting go that's giving you need to let go of the situation release give up patience you also need to they need to surrender divine timing i think that like you don't have to do much but if you haven't yet made this clear you do need to make it clear however i'm not hearing like reach out to them to make it clear but if they reach out to you you need to like shut it the f down because i'm hearing it can escalate or it can get worse okay and also you have two cards of the divine other than that i don't think you have to do much because i believe that the divine is on your side this is a wheel of fortune energy it's all about divine timing they will get their, you will get their justice and they will get their karma in divine time. It might not have happened yet. There's, there's still a waiting period. So I feel like this is my probably going to happen in the future. Okay. It's like what you don't see coming. So I hope that that helped pile number two. That is how to defeat your enemy. Okay. Ah, and I just asked, what's your enemy's biggest fear? What are they afraid of? Change, metamorphosis. They're afraid of you basically advancing and creating and becoming um, the butterfly after being in the caterpillar state with them. Um, they're also afraid of you finding new love and they're afraid of them not being able to prevent you from going after something new. They're also afraid of you moving on, okay? Please hit that like button for me. Please subscribe. Thank you for doing that. Thank you for supporting me and the channel. And if you would like to tip, that is very much appreciated. My information is in the description box below. I hope that this helped you and I will see you in another pile or another reading. Love you so much. Goodbye. Doesn't that sound like an owl? I feel like there's like not supposed to be owls around where I am, but like I think that it's an owl. Like people are tripping. It's like, like that can't be a pigeon, right? It's giving. Welcome pile number three. If you chose this padlock, you're in the right place. So it's feeling very secure. <laughs> Security is important here. Or maybe you need to be secure or something like that. Okay. 
So we're going to see what your enemy is plotting, what they're afraid of, and how you're going to defeat them. Okay? So let's get into it. Could be someone you went on dates with but didn't continue to pursue. Doesn't have to be. Illness in the reverse again. I'm, I'm quiet right now because I'm hearing songs, but I can't place them yet. I'm hearing candle, I'm hearing candelabra. I don't know what that is. Lock and key, okay. What is Pile Three's enemy plotting? Work in the reverse. Craftsmanship, professionalism, self-employment, freelancing, handmade, project management. Feels like they're trying to throw off your ability to manage your projects, your craft, or your work. All right, tell me more about what pile. All right, all right then. That was really wild. Unexpected money. We have court official and great fortune, which are both in the reverse. So great fortune, fulfillment, contentment, happiness, joy, dreams coming true, living in purpose, fruitfulness, good luck. They don't, they want to impact your, or they're throwing negative energy or something at your finances, at your work, at your projects, and how fulfilled that you feel, your dreams coming true, your purpose. I'm hearing your dharma for some of you who might resonate with that. Um, your life path, they want to disrupt or throw um, storms, or I'm seeing like somebody throw like little discs at your feet, like uh, make you unstable in terms of like fortune, luck, money, income. Um, you could be some sort of official. They might want to make you not official. Or you are like officially something or you're in some sort of position of power or like school board, government, therapist, lawyer, judge. Let me see what that is. And the unexpected money with the child. It's like they want you to make like poor financial decisions almost. Hope and good lady. And rich lady, yeah, they definitely don't um, don't like that you are in a position of power or you make some sort of money or you have some sort of like status or regality about you, okay? Um, hope, spirituality, new views, awareness, and philosophical. I feel like they're trying to impact how you view your work, how you view yourself and what you've officially gone after in life, like your career. Good lady, older female, some of you could be counselors or therapists or something like that. Mother figure, strong, well-educated. You could also be well-educated or you have like a business, you have a craft. Advisor, executive guide, and teacher. Hmm. Like, or you have some sort of seniority in the field or in the craft in which you are that's made you some sort of great wealth or you're on your way. So what do they want to do? Gloomy thoughts, they want to, oh, false person. They, okay, I know exactly what this is. They want you to have dark thoughts about your path with the false person in the reverse. They want you to have imposter syndrome. Like, can I really do this? I'm not good enough for this. Like if you're like some sort of teacher, advisor, spiritualist, spiritual like, leader, tarot reader, I don't know. They they want you to be worried, depression, overthinking, self-sabotage. They want you to self-sabotage, okay? And this also with the 33 especially has to do with working with others. And they might want you to affect your heart chakra and your mind. They want you to have confusion, dark thoughts, dark clouds in your mind. Be unhopeful. See, the hope came in the reverse. And then we have unhopeful, bleak, doubtful, pessimistic. They want you to be pessimistic about your path. That's what your enemy is trying to do. Make their... 
Look at this mask this person's wearing. Sly, evasive, watch out, dishonesty, deception, hidden lies, deceit, danger. It's like self. they want you to be self-sabotaging. And then we have main female in the reverse. You're giving main character energy and they don't want you to be in main character energy. Elegant lady, open, deep, romantic love, main male's partner, sensuality. You might resonate with pile number one because this like elegant, ele elegant um, song came on or came through. I heard somebody be watching TV right now. I don't know how while you're also watching a reading, but go off. Elegant, Ella, elegant. They don't want you to be so like together and elegant. It's giving pile one. Okay. I'm like, whatever pile three is up, go away. So what are they plotting? Like, how are they actually plotting on this? Like in what way? Ace of baskets, this is overpouring of emotion. Two of baskets in the reverse. They could be trying to cause some sort of disruption between you and a close friend or a partner or a community member, a parent, uh, somebody who has your back, somebody who you water, you water each other. They don't want that to be. And or... This also is representing, this is like, could be like a past person that you dealt with and it's no longer, okay? And I'm gonna read the book for these two, but let me just get the rest. Okay, we have the eight of coins, which is literal working. They could literally be working at, make in, from hearing infiltrating your work, making your, making you feel that some type of way. They could be writing some sort of like petitions or whatever. I'm hearing they could have like native roots, but they don't have to. There's something about working for your highest good or their highest good or something about like, why is this giving they're trying to break up a marriage or a commitment that you have? This is literally the four of six in the reverse. And look, remember I said these people were watering each other? They're literally planting gardens together here. And I said something about gardens earlier. All right, let's let's um let's read them. All right, two of baskets. Let's get it. Let's go. Just saw it. All right, two of baskets in the reverse. Distrust, rejection, breakup of a partnership. What did I say? Miscommunication, inconsiderate behavior, broken contracts. They're trying to break a contract. Maybe it could be work though. It feels like work for me, but it also could be love. We have resentment, divorce, abuse, and incompatibility. Ew, they're trying to make you incompatible in or to a work situation, but I feel like it's through your like emotions. Um, they're trying to break some sort of faithfulness because they're bringing up these herbs, Queen's Delight Root and um, Satureja or Satureja. Both of these herbs are associated with keeping one's partner faithful and maintaining their interest in the relationship. I just saw one eighteen eighteen on the timer. So they either want to, either or both want to break up some sort of like faithfulness or relationship that you have with another person who is close to you emotionally and maybe even has to do with your work. But this could also have to do with like, maybe you're like a stay at home parent or something. This is, this is giving breaking up of a marriage or a contract or a commitment, but they're trying to do it by like keeping one's partner faithful and maintaining their interest in the relationship, like making either you or them like lose interest. Like, like it's like, it's your mind, it's your emotions, it's how you feel about it that they're trying to use as the avenue to get through to you. I don't know, losing your job, losing your luck, losing your fortune or whatever. I'm interested to see where this padlock comes in because we're going to see how you're being um, protected and like how to defeat them, right? 
All right, so let's check out eight of coins in the reverse. Wow, my intuition's on point. So this is the image of Island Smith, who's a Creek medicine man from Oklahoma. He was respected for his knowledge of traditional Creek medicines and cures. Island attributed his gift for healing to being of both indigenous and African heritage, which he believed made him twice as powerful as a full blood of either background. Okay, through a controversial, though a controversial concept now, Root workers tended to believe that someone from certain ethnic or racial backgrounds, this person thinks that because they're from a specific background that they are more powerful than you. They like sincerely believe that. I don't believe that though. Um, there are different attributes that you inherit or you learn and you can connect to, but everybody has their own sources of power, they do. All right. Um, This is in the reverse, yeah? Negative. Perfectionism shortcuts low quality merchandise. They want you to like shoddy work. They want you to do shoddy work. Incompetent employees, truancy, fake gurus. Yeah, and have people see you as like not real, not true. All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. You, they want to, you to lose your passion for your, your, your passions, your purpose. People with questionable credentials and lack of ambition. Yeah, they want you to have a lack of ambition or they're plotting on doing help. I don't know. Why do I say helping? Helping. Interesting. There could be multiple people working together on this. Somebody's helping them do this. People with questionable credentials. They could be working with people with questionable credentials or people that are like ethically negative. We just saw 12121 on the timer. And I also feel like they have a lack of ambition, so they want you to have a lack of ambition. They feel like the best way to get you to lose this stuff is for you to believe yourself that you are not worthy, that you are a fake guru or whatever. Or they want you to not believe in your craft and influence others to not to like see you as like a crock, basically. I hope that's not like an offensive word. I have to look it up. Okay, um, four of sticks in the reverse. It's interesting how like, there's like relationships involved and like, and like, uh, yeah, it's like commitments. All right, four of sticks. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. They want to impact your legacy, maybe even your children, but it feels like unborn children. So... Listen here. Ooh, plant Angelica. That's angelic guidance and protection. They are against that, I guess. Um, okay, let me read the description of the image. A happy couple is planting their baby's placenta. Oh, the baby's already born. With Angelica flowers beneath a lush crepe myrtle tree in the hopes of attracting good fortune to the child. So it's even like they want your good for like the, your good fortune to not like last or to not become legacy they don't want your seeds to grow like what else am i supposed to say all right four of sticks in the reverse negative conflict minor delays family dysfunction unconstructive criticism yeah like being being sad being criticized being feeling down about yourself and your craft but it's like uncalled for like, it's, like, not true. Canceled plans. What did I freaking say? Instability. Division in the community and feeling unwelcome. They want you to feel unwelcome or they want to, yeah, want you to feel unwelcome in the community or in some kind of way. There's a lot of planting energy here. Planting seeds. But your seeds are already growing and you continue to plant seeds. So, like, all right. F this off, honestly. Let's see how you're going to defeat them. And what is, why is the padlock here? I mean, maybe you just have to keep everything secure. Change. 
Protect your growth. Regeneration, growth, metamorphosis, and cycles. Protect your growth. Stay focused on your growth and your, your transformation. It's giving you've already transformed. So just keep doing what you're doing. And you need to protect yourself against like mental and emotional like attacks, like psychic attacks too. If you start feeling down about your like craft or your passion, you need to address that because it's coming from this person's bad energy. Friends, literally all these piles so far have been like connect with your friends. But this is about acquaintance, trust, support, loyalty. So you need like to be with your community, be with, continue to be with your community and your people. You might want to isolate. You might want to go away from people. I just heard pretend. Look, party, this came out literally in the last pile. They're literally wanting you to socialize. Stay connected. How does um, pile three respond to this enemy to defeat them? Okay. Okay. I think I just saw something flip. You know, I just got a creepy P. Diddy energy. Single. So you need to stay guarded. You need to protect yourself. Alone, isolation, lonely, and guarded. You need to stay protected while also not isolating yourself to your detriment. Do you know what I'm saying? So I'm like, how do you respond to this? So we have finances. It is in the reverse. So I guess pay attention to your finances. It says money problems, work, material things, and success. We have third party. There's interference in your success. Interference, cheating, competition, mistress. So be aware of this interference. We have healing. It is in the reverse. I feel like these people are not healed. Um, we also have wounds, improving, mending, and progress. Just keep making, like, steady progress in what you're doing. Like, it's, like, giving, like, ugh, my card fell. It's giving don't stop. Like, don't take, like, long breaks. Like, even if you're just doing a little bit, even if you write, like, 10 words a day or something, if that's your craft, like, keep, keep it up. Break up. Walking away, ending, separation, it's over, and heartbreak. I mean, what is that? Is this you leaving this person? I need another deck, because this is getting weird. Y'all are getting weird, pile three. That's something suspicious. Don't you find that suspicious? Yeah, there's things that you're going to be finding suspicious. I want to see what this breakup and heartbreak energy is. Is that from your the person that is your enemy? It's also giving heal and focus on yourself. And also the third party is even giving like friendship energy. Or like even like help. But what's this breakup heartbreak? Is this like something to be aware of in your own life now? Or is this already happened with this person? It says keep your life in balance scales. You could be a Libra. It's also justice energy. That feels like the just right thing to do was the breakup. What's this breakup energy? Okay. In need of assistance and help. Hand. They want a helping hand, perhaps. Secret admirer. And then a long journey. What secret admire? Involvement with the law. You might resonate with pile two. Triumph over obstacles and troubles. I think that this is just about you gaining justice. And it might even have to do with court, like a court of law, but it doesn't have to. You might have to reach out for help regarding this person that you've broken up with. And keep your cool. All right. Weird uh, responses. How else does... Um... Too many. 
I just saw see, you need to seek out information that will help. You might have to gain assistance from somebody else, like an official of some sort. The keep your light, control your emotions. Um, is there anything that pile three needs to be aware of that they need to protect themselves from that is coming? This is not a good card, y'all. This is Miss Robinson in the reverse. I'm going to have to read it to you because it's wild. Um, and we have the Ace of Sticks. So if you feel like not taking action on your, your craft, that's something that you need to be aware of. Um, John Horst, giving John the Conqueror trickster energy. I don't know if that's actually John the Conqueror, though. All right, let's check out Miss Robinson. You know what it's about? It's about a witch. And this lady was talking. I'm going to just tell you, tell you because I remember it. This She was at church, right? Miss Robinson was at church. This is the devil card, okay? This is the devil card. You might have to fight fire with fire. You might have to fight fire with fire, depending on how hard this is, how hard this op goes, I'm hearing. And something tragic might even happen to this op. Look what I'm being shown. Like, look at this person's face. They're like, hand over mouth, like you're not even going to believe it. When you see dead bones, when judgment gets called, you're going to be like, oh. Like, damn. They really tried it and they ended up RIP. I never get like a straight up d-e-a-t-h message but like that's what it is right now i feel like you'd be you're gonna be shocked and i feel like you might even think like yeah this person gonna end up like they're gonna go downhill like you know that they're just gonna end up like troubled but i think that you're not gonna be ready for the surprise that this brings yo this is giving my reading um so let me tell you the story right quick miss robinson was a hoodoo worker or something. And her moral, she's uh, black and white, I would say. Her morals are, uh, she's not only interested in doing things of the light. There was some lady in church and she was talking-ish about Miss Robinson. And I'm getting chills right now. Miss Robinson was not about to play that game. So she said to this woman, you better, you best not be messing around and ruining my business. Because I think that she was telling people like, oh, she worships the devil. Like, oh, she's bad. Like, don't go to her for hoodoo work. And I'm thinking like all the people, like they would like not tell the lady that they would go to her for, for hoodoo work, but then they would go anyway, like behind, you know, like the church ladies that are like secretly like that. Mm -hmm. Maybe those are people in your family or you know them or something in your community or something like that. <gasps> Let me breathe. <laughs> Sorry, I'm talking so fast. That was just a side message, but... She told her, do not talk stuff, sh crap about me. Do not ruin my business. Look, this, oh my gosh. Yo, this card's resonating. I think this, the per your op is going to get in a lot of trouble. Or your op is going to be like demolished and it's going to be because of you. But like, they were warned. They were warned. They, 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 their shadow overtook them. They were warned. I just keep hearing. Mm -mm. Okay, and, um, you know, I can't even get through this story because I'm in shock right now. Just like this hoodoo lady, hoodoo person, hoodoo lady. Um, Y'all could be hoodoo ladies or whatever. Could practice hoodoo. Could be of like African descent or African American, a. Eh? Um, so listen. What do you think that the lady did? I just saw one three 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 three. <laughs> the lady did not stop talking ish about Miss Robinson. So Miss Robinson decides I'm gonna destroy. Every, I'm gonna make you sad. Destroy everything in your life. Yada yada yada. What happens is Miss Robinson does some sort of work on the lady and the lady's son who she loved very much ends up dying Ooh, so maybe even like the person like your op might not even 
like pass away but it is giving that like someone that they love very closely a child a pet they might pass away and look at the smile on her face she doesn't give an f they're low-key telling me to tell you like low-key to not give an f because this person deserves it trying to play in your life play games in your life it's almost like a embracing the devil energy because you are fighting against the very same energy except yours is more powerful you know what i was going to do also for this reading how are you stronger than your op and now i'm realizing that's for pile three i think pile three is stronger than your op but i feel like in the past you weren't or you didn't understand your power or you didn't believe in your power or practice your craft your witchcraft or your prayers or whatever you do to protect yourself against these enemies or even just doing things in the material 3D world to protect yourself like you're literally embracing the your shadow self, you're embracing the dark, the dark fem the dark any dark feminine, dark masculine, but it's not negative. It's just keep your life in balance. Didn't I say? And I saw, I don't know if this was in this pile, but I saw the black and white pigeon earlier. It's like balancing your dark and your light. In this situation, I am hearing, use your best discernment, these are collective messages, but I am hearing that in this situation, the mm, I'm not saying the light isn't going to work because you still need the light. You need the light, but the light itself is not going to be as effective in defeating your enemy without the darkness. But I feel like you've already in some way stepped into this darkness, this dark energy, and you run, you run the person out of town. They need to be, it's like they need to be run out of, they need to have something tragic happen to them to be run out of town. And I'm not saying this for my own self. I'm saying this from, these are the messages that I'm getting from the, from the reading and from my guides. I'm going to get a confirmation because that's a very strong thing. And I don't want y'all to be going attacking people, especially if they didn't do anything to you. Make sure it's just, or you're going to be in the boathouse. I don't know what that means. And I also just got slavery. I really don't like that. Mm, I'm getting these like weird like like there's like always like this weird not always oftentimes it's like weird racism that people have against my collective or something like like they have like these weird hang-ups I don't it's really gross it's really gross I'm getting chills yeah there's like so totally racial stuff going on with my collective And it doesn't have to be like white people against people of color. Like this is also like people of color, like indigenous people, like people like. Using race as a scapegoat for their abuse. I'm not about it. It makes light of racism and it's not okay. I don't know what the heck I asked, but romantic feelings came out. Maybe this, is, this isn't the right deck. Actually, it might be. Give me confirmation, then we'll end. For my pile number three is if, are they, are they to fight fire with fire? Is that what you're saying? To embrace the dark? Look, we have fear in the reverse. Don't be afraid. It is confirmation, yes. You literally, you take whatever, you overcome the fear. Uh, how can you be afraid of the dark energy when you are the dark energy? When you are the stronger energy. And I'm not saying dark is stronger, but I'm saying your dark energy has the capacity and ability, I'm getting chills right now, to be so much more strong than your op ever would have thought because they think i believe that you are oh love and light yada yada i'm just a baby just a fairy like they say on tiktok right but no you have this well inside you Ooh, kali ma is coming through with the blood i am seeing like a red river inside your heart chakra and it's rushing like, like it's like, look, it's like dark red blood. It's like rushing inside you. 
you channel that and you take it and you defeat your enemy pile three, okay? Wow, I love you. Go for it. Crossroads in the reverse. Go for it. This is your time. This is your chance. Wow. That's crazy. Oh my gosh. And then I picked this up. Angel, spiritual guidance. Also connect with your angel. I'm not telling you to go connect with demons or whatever, but you could if you if, if that's what you're spiritually guided to, to in order to be just and protected. That's not my business, whoever you're talking to, what you do. But I do have angel, spiritual guidance and protection from harm. So I believe that you are protected and you also need to, it's also a reminder to be protected. Um when and while you're defending yourself okay love you pile three that was a really interesting reading you're literally a badass like the way you're giving me chills pile three please do let me know how this resonates in the comments i wish you all of the luck and the strength in your endeavors uh please hit that like button for me thank you for liking thank you for subscribing and Thank you for tipping my infos in the description box below if you would like to do that, if you feel so called, if you like this, if this helped give you confirmation in some type of way. Also, like subscribing like does so much, um, helping me get monetized and all that good stuff. So yeah, I hope that you like that. Thank you for connecting with me and I'll see you in the next pile. Bye. <laughs> I feel so sassy right now. Okay, pile number four. You made it. We made it here. It has been an hour and 40 minutes. Like, whoa. But we're here for you. Are you a star? Um, um why did I just say that? That was weird. Um, I'm already getting. I'm also hearing Alma, Alma Mater. I'm already getting messages. Oh, I'm getting that Tyrus. I love that Tyrus song from um, It's Not Freaky Friday. Life Size. Do you remember that Tyra movie, Life Excuse me, coffee burp. <laughs> that Tyra movie, Life Size, where she's like a life-size Barbie doll. She like turns human or something. Well, she does. she's just a life-size Barbie doll, actually with human characteristics, but um, I'm getting they're afraid of your magic and they're also really afraid of your magical potential. So I don't know if you're spiritual or you practice magic or something like that, but they see something in you before you can see it or before you saw it. You could have really gotten into your magic and your spiritual craft and your work of those that type and that nature I'm hearing over the past few months or even past few years, but this person that you're dealing with, they've, mm, I don't know if they've seen the development, like they haven't, they might not have been like watching and witnessing your development, but they definitely are scared because they see that you have power. I mean, you got the power, power. Mm -mm, mm -mm, you got the power. Ooh, now I'm getting like 70s black disco and chills. Some of you could have been like born in the 70s or you like had like I see you dancing in the club like when that music was on 80s too. Um, but yeah, you have this potential. You also have this um, eye catching starlight like people pay attention to you. You could have some sort of popularity or fame. Don't have to. But people pay attention to you. You've got the power. You've got the starlight. It's like, um, what's that called when like people that are talented or famous, they're like, you've got the, like, you've got it. You've got the star power. Like there's just something about you. Sorry, I'm channeling songs. Ugh, I'm hearing like, it's, ugh, I still don't know what this song is and they're giving it to me again. They're like, it's not about us. It feels like Jahim or something, but I don't think it is. Or all about us or something. I just saw love child. So this is an op. Is it not? It is an op. So what is your op 
plotting. We know what they're afraid of. They're afraid of your star power. And we're going to get more into that. But we're going to see what they're plotting, how they're against you, and what they're doing, and why, or whatever. They don't want you to be as honorable or seen as, as honorable or as in achievement as you normally are. I also saw 14414 on the clock. These also are like angel numbers to look up or like you could have been like born on the 14th or you could be 44 or whatever. Like work with them however you want. I'm hearing like free will, like you have the power. Like I feel like a lot of this, like your intuition, your interpretation is going to do a lot for this message. I'm not saying it's not going to be clear, but... You've got the power. You could have like psychic abilities. Power, power. I'm sorry, I can't stop jamming. We're jamming every day and every night. We'll stand together. Chills with the roof all over our heads. And I saw house too. We'll stand the shelter. Sorry, I don't know the words all. Each and every day. I see someone like across in like the complex across from me right now. And they just look like a black shadow figure. This person's like a shadow figure. Like they stand in your shadow. They don't, they don't, if your light wasn't there, they wouldn't stand in your shadow. So this keeps coming out long road. Could have been a long road with this person or it's taken a long road for you to get to this point or something like that. They've been plotting on this for a long time. Journey, high honors, and there was something about like moving or changing. They want you to move or change away from being seen as this high honorable person. So what are they plotting exactly? Maybe something about your home. Each and every day. They could think about this each and every day. What are they plotting? Literally, house came out. They could be plotting on your house, on your home, on your stability, on your success. But this is like literally giving like your home. Maybe you have like a nice house. Real estate, home, property. It could also just be about your property. Yeah, stability, family, neighbors. Could be a neighbor or could be a family member. I just heard it could be like an aunt or a cousin or like a letter in the reverse i don't know if they this is really specific but i'll get more general if they don't want you to sign something or they don't want you to sign on a house or they don't want you to i don't know letter inform communication such as news notes text emails messages notifications alerts voice and video messages maybe they're blocking some sort of communication in regard to your house this is weird or it's unique High honors keeps coming out. Like, I feel like that's you. What is this? What is this plotting about? What is this regard? Thank you. Good gentleman. Older male, sober, thoughtful, wise, supportive, boss, guide, mentor, father figure. Family stuff's coming out a lot. It could be a father figure. They could be plotting on you, like inheriting some sort of home. It could be, I also heard brother. It could be like a brother or a sibling. Like if somebody like, you know how like when a um, parent passes away or some family member and then they get like inheritance in their will, like it's giving like there's a, they want to block that. Cause look at this good gentleman. But this could be many different things. So I'll keep going. But this good gentleman could be like a older figure. Maybe somebody that's created a will or something or somebody that's going to give you something or somebody that represents some sort of stability or family. All right, we need to get more specific because this is a strange. Oh my gosh, you just said estranged, estranged, estranged. You could be estranged from this person or they could be estranged from you. I also just heard they could be watching you on social media or if this is like a family member that you don't talk to, they could have like found you on social media and they've been like watching your starlight, your star power. You could also like consider yourself more successful than this person or they could consider you more successful than them, definitely. Even if they have like money or whatever, like or they, it feels greedy. I just heard like lawyer, like they could actually have like a good, up, good upstanding citizen type job, but like their attitude is not it. Yo, rich lady in the reverse and then change. 
movement, adaptability, relocation, travel. I, I feel like there's some sort of conflict over a house or an inheritance or... Let me know how this is resonating. Yeah, the health and wealth thing. All right, let me get another deck because this is not helping. Let's use the hoodoo deck. Just also giving family. Let's get to the bottom of this, my guys. What is the objective of Pile 4's op in this situation? What is their... Ob Thank you. Daughter of Coins? They want some sort of profit. The grandchildren in the reverse. I'm going to pull out the book for these. But this is about legacy and home and family. It is. Even if it's about like a part, like your family or I don't know. John Horse in the reverse. And then Father of Sticks in the reverse. All right. Um, this is because we got the long road or long term. This is something that's been happening for like a really long time, even for some of you, like 20 years or something. So let's see. Got big mama. Ancestors, huge familial energy. And it's saying a long road. Like it could even be like the spiritually long road, like, like centuries, like the ancestors have been waiting for this, like something like that. Getting chills again. The grandchildren. I forgot what that one represents. We'll stand the shelter each and every day. Okay, I'm seeing John Horace come up. So John Horace in the reverse. Is that not John the Conqueror? No, I guess it's not. It's a different John. Why we have so many Johns in Hoodoo? <laughs> um... Wow. Maybe he is John the Conqueror because he's been he fights the slave owners. Yo, in, in 1849, John Horace led the largest escape of enslaved people to freedom in U.S. history. He also founded free settlements for the runaways in Oklahoma and Mexico. By the time of his death, John Horace had fought against the French, the Americans and the hostile Indians. OK, working in conjunction with the colonists. He avoided slave catchers, three wars, and several assassination attempts. Yeah, this is John the Conqueror. Um, or it's someone extremely similar to him. But you know how our stories are mixed and they get passed down in different ways. He's a warrior. He's a warrior and he gets out of situations. He's, a, he's lucky he gets out of situations. Like, look up John the Conqueror if you're not in the know. Because he could be a protector for you. But also, like, ew, if he avoided slave catchers, like, why is it in the reverse? Okay, let's check out the grandchildren. I'm sorry this, like, isn't a story yet, but I hope it's resonating with y'all or helping you in some way. Also, thank you for hitting the like button, for subscribing, and just for simply viewing. I'm really glad that you're here and vibing with me. So... Yeah, I was getting high priestess energy. Because this has been happening for so long, I feel like it's a complex situation and or the story hasn't been told or it hasn't been told enough. Uh, children, elders, hasn't been passed down through the... something hasn't Something's missing, something hasn't been passed down or you're putting together some sort of like connections about a family history or the history of your people or just what happened in the past. Something that happened in the past a long time ago has to do with your op, which I feel like is a family member, or someone having to do with your house or your legacy. That's all I'm getting right now. Where is the grandchildren? Somebody wants grandchildren. They're like, where are the grandchildren? Aunt Caroline. There's big elder ancestor energy coming through here, especially if you're like African-American. Okay, the grandchildren is the star. Yo! The star, and you showed up as the star. You've got it. Oh, and also I was thinking of the tire movie because in that um, movie, she sings this song, and it's like, shine bright, shine bright, you're a star, don't be shy. 
where you live, where you are. Be a star, shine bright, shine right, be a star. Don't be shy, where you live, where you are. Be a star. Yeah, and I kept seeing the change in the, was it in the reverse? I don't know. I kept seeing the change card when I was asking what your op wanted for you. They want you to like move away or something. Or they, they like, like they, I think for some of you, they physically want you to move away or to not live somewhere. It's because your shine's too strong. Shine bright, be a star, don't be shy, where you live, where you are. It's about where you live and it's about where you are. And it's about where you are in life. They could feel like if you get something, they're not going to be able to get something. I'm hearing tip for tat. I'm also seeing this like will family thing, but I feel like for a lot of you, it's not that specific situation. You're just going to have to use your intuition. Didn't I say earlier that you would have to use your intuition with this pile because yeah. So the grandchildren is the star in the reverse. They don't want your legacy to shine through. So let's read the star in the reverse. Okay, there is no reverse, but when the grandchildren appears in a reading, it's a sign that relief from any stress, negativity, or despair is on its way. If there is no sign of hope evident in your life yet, just be patient and you will soon see the proof that things are looking up. Blessings shall be abound. Um, consider the following. Do I regularly count my blessings? Believing this person isn't um, grateful. This is an ungrateful person for what they have and what they've been passed down. I feel like you are not an ungrateful person. I feel like you pay respects to your ancestors, to your family, to your people, or you could play like a big caretaking role in your family. Like seriously. Or even if you don't like, you're a good gentleman. You could be older. I am getting a more older energy for this pile, but you don't have to be. What can I do to regain hope? Find a way to become inspired. This is giving similar to pile three. Like they don't want you to be inspired. They don't want you to have hope. Listen, give without seeking anything in return. This op, the, what they're plotting on, they don't, they want to receive without giving. It's unequal. It's six of pentacles in the reverse for those that speak tarot. Miracles happen every day. Why can't they happen to you? This person's like, woe is me. Look at my cousin getting everything that she wants or whatever. And I don't get it. Like, mm. <laughs> blessings are on the way. It says, um, this is about old and young too. Listen, perhaps it's time for the old and the young to get together and enjoy each other's company. And then we have, it might be time to share some words of wisdom with someone younger or less mature. All will turn out right in the end. This person's like less mature or they're younger than you or vice versa. Um, and I feel like you have more wisdom and this person's just like greedy and ungrateful. Maybe they've been handed things that you had to work for or something, but they are jealous and they feel like you've been handed things. I don't know. It's weird. Okay. And the John horse was the emperor in the reverse. They want to have control over the situations. Um, there's also a lot of like ghastliness and ghosts on this card. A lot of trickster energy. Um, it's like, what is that escaping, like, the negative means? Like, you could have been through a lot, like, had a lot of troubles and been able to escape them. All right, Father of Sticks, because I'm hearing that my camera is going to cut off soon. Please don't, but that's what they're telling me. Don't do it. Father of Sticks. reversed plant rye the father of sticks is generally a beneficent card on the positive side he is a visionary adventurous goal-oriented wise and trustworthy oh excuse me with a can-do attitude and natural born leadership he was also a healer on the negative side, he is cowardly, incompetent, immature, impotent, and reckless. Yeah. It's just, this is an immature person who's ungrateful for 
something. What are they ungrateful for? Things will not always be this way. A change is coming. This is a caterpillar. They're not yet a butterfly. They haven't evolved yet. This person's very immature. They could be like a kid. They could be like a teen or like a young adult or just like a really immature family member. Let me know how this is resonating for y'all. November could have to do with it. it. Could be a birth date. Something could have happened in November that will like tip you off to what's going on or who this person is. I need to find out what's happening with the house though. Period of ill health, depression. Also fly on the wall. This person watches you. You could be married. They could have watched your marriage. Compliments from an admirer. I don't know what that is. Okay, let me think for a second. You could be very spiritual and do like ceremonies and stuff. What's the John Horse energy? Look, and this came right under house. I don't know why they're not telling me exactly what it is, but there's something about your literal house or your home or the land that you grew up on or something. Oh my gosh, I just heard some of you could like live places where there were like, um, like escape trails for enslaved people. Maybe like look that up if you're like on some sort of historical landmark because there's something like very important about the home. New home, new attitude. I think you just overcome obstacles. You also could have like bought a new home recently or something. The synchronicity is the butterfly, a change for the better and the caterpillar. Things will not always be this way. A change is coming. This person's bitter because things aren't changing for them. They haven't transformed into a butterfly like you already have. You have changed for the better. You've made a change for the better. Maybe you moved out of a family home or created your own family or home or something like that. And they're upset because they're not yet at your level. But like you, that's just time. That's just growth. Like you're not going to automatically be like pile four. Pile four has been working hard and going through all these obstacles like John Horse, like John the Conqueror. And now uh, someone that's supposedly supposed to be a family member or supportive or close to them is like now like hating on them. Like what, how does that make any sense? mountain major challenge to overcome you've overcome all of these freaking challenges and you finally got your stability or your home or something or a sense of home i just heard that some of you could have been in foster care or adopted or something like that or like had to go to court as a child like testify as a child in court but that's only for some of you okay i'm gonna end soon chain of events that will affect your life like It's just about, like, I don't know why we have to talk for, like, 30 minutes about how this is just an ungrateful person, but that's, like, literally what it is. Just, like, an ungrateful, jealous person who is depressed and has ill health. Could be, like, ill mental health. Oh, my gosh. Please, please stop. that take care enemies are working against you yeah the lurking in the dark energy again forces working against you and discord among friends or family literally this family member is working against you what are they working on they could be doing ceremonies but i'm not really getting that getting that you do ceremonies temptation will test you apple happiness Protected from negative forces beyond your control. Good for you. Period of frustration. Lessons to be learned. You should accept valid criticism and beware of great pride. This person is very prideful and they don't like to accept like constructive criticism. And that's why they're not growing in life. They're frustrated. They can't like move this gunk through the funnel because they got too much like it's not, this is weird, but it's not like smooth liquid that can go into the funnel. Like it's like caked up crap. Um, I actually do feel like they are protected in some kind of way. I don't know how or why, but also you're probably protected. 
happiness. Okay, let me just ask how they're working against you. I'm looking at illness right now. How exactly is pile four is off working against pile four? Travel, distance, boundaries, far apart, getaway. Ghosted and new love. Moving on. They could want to stop you from moving on. Or this is weird. Because it's like the home, the moving, the distance. They could be keeping their distance from you. But how are they? Rejection. They could be wanting you to be rejected by some sort of love interest or something. But disappear, silence, ignore, rejected. Honeymoon phase, childlike, moving on, new beginning. They are childlike. It also feels like they want to hold you back from a new beginning. Like if you moved away and started a new life, like if you're like a sister or something and you're, I don't know, older and you like got a nice job, you got a partner or something. I don't freaking know. You don't have to be with anybody to be successful. Let me make that clear. But you basically made a change for the better for yourself. Okay. Um, one of my candles is like ending right now. So like you, there was nothing else left for you where you were before you needed to get away. What's this ghost? Roll the dice, take a chance, risk, leap of faith strategy. They could have been strategically trying to make you not take a chance. Maybe they could have emotionally manipulated you by ghosting you or acting like being very distant or acting like to, in order to perceive to you that they're upset that you shouldn't do this, that you should feel guilty for what you're doing. One more on, oh, how does pile two, def, pile two, maybe you're pile two too. How does pile four delete the, delete? <laughs> defeat this opponent maybe you need to delete them like off social media or something oh my gosh i'm a psychic uh, what the f i'm freaking crying right now literally social media they're what remember i said they're watching you like seven freaking times they're watching you on social media you need to create boundaries on social media that is what you need to do. I don't know if you need to private your account. You need to block them. You need to delete them or something, pile number four. Spying, online dating, reminiscing, networking. They're acting like they're not coming towards you or they don't want anything to do with you, but they're watching you at what chances you're taking. It's like they're offended that you took a chance on life and they are still growing but they're resistant to their own growth. So of course you're going to be like healing. You need to work on your healing and you need to cut off from this person. One more. How do you defeat your enemy pile for? Sucks that even family is enemy. Like, come on. Signs and synchronous. Don't ignore the signs. Guess what this is? Home. And I think it was like kind of in the reverse. You need to redefine your boundaries around your home and you also need to protect your home. There's something about your home, like your physical home. Comfort, safety, belonging, shelter. You need to create safety around your shelter, like literally. Because they could be looking at your home on social media or something. What, what? Let me just get one more about the home, how to protect your home. Like, what is that? Liquid courage, bravery, confidence, intoxicated, odd behavior. Yeah, um, this person might be having some odd behavior. They might even, might even, use your best discernment if they're that kind of person, try to travel to your home or come to your home. But honestly, you just need to be brave and protect your shelter. Healing. Be in your healing energy. Don't accept less than your worth. That's what I'm getting. Watch out for snakes. You need to get away from these sneaky people and you need to heal. That's what my spirit guides are telling you. That is your super long reading. I really was like, these readings are going to be like 20 minutes each, like 30 minutes. Like, mm, I guess they were 30 minutes each, kind of. So yeah, um, thank you for hitting that like button for subscribing. Please do let me know how it resonates. I really do truly always love to know and I don't really know 
if I am like really connecting with, I mean, I do know I'm connecting with folks, but how and like confirmations are like really helpful for me. Um, yeah. And you can also let me know if you have any ideas for like pick a cards, I will consider them. Um, and if you want to tip my infos in the description box below, I love you so much. Thank you for coming to this reading and I'm excited to keep tapping into your energy. Peace out and goodbye.